All right, here's the second and last of the problems from chapter 12, and it's right after the one that I just wrote, so that's kind of weird, but it's okay, you can handle it. Right. Just looking at that piece. So we're talking about soap suds in a dish pan, and the amount of deter dish soap or dish detergent you add to the pan determines, hopefully, we think it determines the amount of soap suds and I'm not going to read that whole paragraph, but look, there's a plot and there's a computer output which we're going to use to do this problem. That's very typical for stuff in chapter 12. A, write an equation of a fitted line. I'm going to do that here since I didn't leave much room. Y hat equals, remember we looked for the coefficients, negative 2.679 plus 9.5x. And again, they're reminding you to define the variables. That's nice of them. X is the amount, and I think it's the amount of detergent. This is X. This is your scat scatter plot, so it's really obvious on there that X is the amount of detergent. And Y is the height of the soap suds after you've mixed it all up. And if I want to be really perfect, I put predicted height of suds because you know it's not perfect. The hat means predicted. So you would need that legal word or whatever you call it. All right, so A is the same as A up above. It's kind of a very common question to ask when you give you computer output. Here's one that we haven't answered lately. S is 1.99821. And they're like, what does that mean? So remember, S is the standard deviation of the residuals, or it's how far off the line on average or another way of saying it is, it is a typical prediction error. Uh, predictions made with this model. will be off by 1.998, what is it, inches? Milli millimeters, oh, that's not bad at all. Millimeters on average. And I suppose we should add a little bit more about predictions of the height of the soap suds. Using with this model that's based on amount of detergents, that adds a little bit more content. So it's just, do you know what that number means? In context. And then last but not least, this one, like the first two are definitely chapter three. The last one isn't even a significance test, but it's still categorized as chapter 12 because it was in chapter 12 that we learned about the standard error of the slope. So let's talk about standard